Hey viewers, thanks for tuning in to another video once again. If you like our videos, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an overview video on the GNG SOC16 ETU, which is part of GNG's M14 lineup. This specific one is a replica of the M1A SOCOM 16 rifle, which was developed as a tactical civilian version of the classic M14. So let's get right down to it. As you can see, everything was packaged in a nice dense foam, so you're not going to have to worry about anything shuffling around inside the box. Included inside the box are the following items. One manual, one gun catalog, one warranty card, one 470 round high cap magazine, a cleaning and unjamming rod, and finally the G&G armament SOCOM 16 AEG rifle itself. The SOC-16's receiver is constructed of a black composite, which reduces the weight of touch, but keeps it incredibly durable. It has a nice anti-slip texture to it, so you're not going to have to worry about your hands sliding around in wet conditions. The battery is stored in the stock, which gives ample space so you're able to run just about any size battery that you'd like. It has a mini Tamiya connector, which is pretty standard for any straight out of the box rifle. A fuse, and as well a MOSFET to protect your trigger contacts from any long term damage. Moving forward we have the front and rear sights. The rear sight is a ghost ring which can be adjusted for windage using the right knob, and elevation using the left. The front sight is a common winged front post, which is tried and true. Just behind the rear sight, there's a nice engraving that you'll find. US Rifle 7.62mm M14, as well as a G&G armament and serial number. This is a nice little feature and helps you keep track of your own personal arsenal. While racking the bolt, we can press this button on the left hand side to lock it back. Internally, you'll find a nice rotary hop-up unit. To disengage the bolt catch, simply pull back on the charging handle and release. To the right we have a selector. Push in and twist to alternate between semi-auto and fully automatic modes. Just below the bolt assembly we have our trigger, safety and magazine release, which are all fully composed of metal. The safety switch is quite straightforward. With the switch pushed into the trigger guard the safety will be engaged. When it's pushed out of the trigger guard your rifle is live and ready to fire. We have two sling mounts, here and here, which allow you to set up your sling configuration in any way you prefer. And lastly, we have a forward scout styled Picatinny mount, which we find is best paired with a red dot optic. If you prefer a scope, there is a slot here which allows you to add an M14 scope mount in a more traditional location for the rifle. The magazine is a 470 round high capacity magazine, which you load by opening up the BB port, dumping in a bunch of BBs, and then winding the wheel at the bottom. Now you're ready to load it into the rifle. Now that we've covered all the features of this rifle, let's take it into the range and see how it performs.
Overall, the G&G SoC16 has a clean and streamlined design with features included that makes for a fantastic DMR. Thanks to the internal MOSFET and electronic trigger unit, we found the trigger response to be quite snappy and impressive for a stock rifle. Thank you for watching our video review on this awesome AEG. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know as we're always looking for feedback. As always, if you liked what you saw, hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and tag that notification bell so you can receive alerts on future uploads. As always, direct links to the product page can be found down below. Thanks for watching.